How are we in a better place with COVID, truly? We have no mitigations. In As always, go back and watch that. And this is the thing that really gets me and irks me about medical professionals being like, we're in a completely different place now. We have tools. While our rapid tests haven't been updated since the start of the pandemic, and now they have a very high false negativity rate, which is giving people a false sense of security, being like, oh, I don't have COVID, even though I'm really sick, must be something else. Our ability to receive vaccinations has gone downhill. In a ideal just society, we would have been given the opportunity to be boosted every uh, four to six months, as the literature was very clear that our active immunity is waning, uh, almost like depleted by that period of time. As we use these mRNA vaccines that were the big benefit of them was that they're supposed to be very easy to update, and they are very easy to update, we just haven't done it very often because it costs money for research and development to be able to do these new um, focused variant strains. And with the ending of the public health emergency, companies have even less incentive to do that type of thing now. And now for testing, you need prior authorizations from your doctors. It costs a lot of money. People have to pay out of pocket. PCR tests are like $120 with insurance, I think. The vaccine is likely going to cost a lot of people a lot of money for this new one that's coming out within the next month. A lot of wastewater facilities have stopped reporting publicly or have stopped being able to collect data because of lack of funding. Like, yeah, we've developed the tools, but we're no longer using the tools. And medical professionals just tout this like it's something that's, oh yeah, we're in a completely different place. We're in a worse place than we were because we're not doing stuff. We're not actively doing things that benefit everyone. And it drives me mad.